You can run, but you can't hide. Google Maps will find you today on Dotto Tech. Steve Dotto here. How the heck you doing this fine day? At Dotto Tech, we make technology easy so you can do more. More what? Well, you could do a thousand burpees like I did, but that's another story. Today we're going to be talking about Google Maps. You know, Big Brother may not be tracking you, but Google Maps most certainly is. Uh, but before we do, have you yet subscribed to this channel? If not, please, I encourage you to, and while you're at it, ring that notification bell. That way we will let you know when we upload new videos. And today's video is a very important video. You might be a little bit shocked by it. If you're not shocked by it, good for you. It means that you're being very proactive about your privacy but I think a lot of you will be shocked. Google Maps uh, is a wonderful service. It's one that I use. It's changed a lot of things in my life. It's a great service, but we give up a lot of personal privacy when we use Google Maps. And it's not just the privacy we give up, but the information about us that's being tracked, I think is something that you have to be aware of. I'm not saying it should be a concern or not, what I'm saying is you should be aware of exactly what information is being captured. Now, Google isn't really in the business of sharing the information uh, with the wide world about every one of your activities. Uh, they will actually tell you right here, if you go to their privacy statement, they will spell out chapter and verse exactly how they plan to use your information. And for things like Google Maps, Knowing where you are is a real benefit to the overall community. For example, if you are driving along a road and it's taking you longer to go from stoplight to stoplight than normal because of heavy traffic, Google will recognize that fact in maps and then it will redirect other people who are looking to route through that area, recognizing that there's heavy traffic congestion in that area. It's a benefit. I think we can all agree that is a very good thing. Now, what we all might not feel is a very good thing is the fact that this history is recorded if we have the proper settings turned on on our phone. And we can see that history by going to Google Maps in, on the desktop or on our phone. I'll show it to you in a moment on the phone, but let's begin here on the desktop. Now, with, Go with a Google account, your Google account is universal. So the same account that you're accessing on your desktop is what you're accessing on your phone. That's why this information is ubiquitous. It's the same on all the platforms. And if we go in the maps underneath the menu item here called your timeline, have you done this before? <laughs> if you haven't, you're in for a, a surprise. I, I, even though I'm a technology guy, when I first did this, I got to admit, I was a little bit gobstopped when I recognized the detail of information that Google was collecting and holding for me. This was, this was not information that's necessarily being shared outside, but here I was, March 1st, I was at Social Media Marketing World. And take a look, this is everywhere that I went that day, this is my day laid out in Google Maps. And not only do they have where I was during the day, but they have what time I was at each of these locations. And when I left and arrived at the next location, it's really detailed information. And not only do they have when I arrived at the, each location, but they also have if I took any photos there that I stored in Google Photos. So here we were, this was on the day of the keynote and we were doing a performance before the keynote. And here's the photos that I took before. There I am before the keynote, at like six in the morning at the convention center before the keynote. This is kind of creepy. It's also kind of awesome. It's up to you to decide if it's something that you're comfortable with, but this is the sort of data that Google Maps is saving. Now, what can you do about this if it is of a concern to you? Well, you can go through in a case-by-case -case basis and you can actually click on a little drop-down menu here and you can ask it to remove that stop. So you can actually erase your past from the day. So it's going to erase it so that it's it's not part of your account anymore. So this is kind of the, the granular moment-by-moment uh, moment control that you can have over your history. But of course, Google Maps has been tracking your history for a very long time if you've had location services turned on. So it might take you a long time to do this. You can also bulk, turn off all of your, erase all of your information and turn off access to the, to, to the services. Uh, and we will have links in the description and in the blog post as well that will walk you through all of this step by step. So there is some control that you have over it. Let me just show you the same map and the same information 
on the smartphone. Now I'm going to use my Apple phone and my iPhone here. And you see here, I'm in Google Maps right now, and I have the same menu items available to me. I go to my timeline, and shock and surprise, my timeline will give me access to the exact same information. So let's just go to the same date, and there is the exact same information all listed out that you just saw. All the photos that I took at the conference, all of that information is readily here, and I can manage it in the exact same way. Now, if this is something that you don't want to have happening anymore on your smartphone, you want to go into your location services, you go into the settings menu under location services, and you can turn off location services. So it's not going to track you. Uh, it, it, it has, doesn't have the ability then to track you anymore. Of course, you're going to lose a lot of functionality if you do that. And this is the trade-off that we constantly have to struggle with, is we have to give up some privacy for convenience or for entertainment or for profit, we have to give up where we are or some information about ourselves to benefit from a lot of these different services. In the case of having all of the benefits of Google Maps and having it be able to, to tell us how long it's going to take us to get to the next location and how heavy the traffic is between here and there and route us by the best route, etc., we have to let Google Maps know where we are in the world at that time. And this information is data that we can choose to have stored or not stored. These are the decisions that you have to make. Now, you can also, by the way, if you go into location services, go in app by app and determine whether or not you want to have that app have access to the GPS and location services that are built into your smartphone. So you see here, I've got Google Calendar here, and I have it, or sorry, Google Maps, and I have it always turned on. Because frankly, I like to have everything tracked. I like to know what time I arrived at places, and then if two weeks later I say, well, I was there on time to usually a family member who cl will claim that I'm late. I can go into Google Maps and say, see, it says here I arrived here at 2 o'clock. Oh, I was late. <laughs> I see now that I was late. I'm sorry. My bad. I like to have that information tracked. You may not. This is your choice. This is neither good nor bad. It's how you take it and what your own thresholds for privacy dictate. But I want you to know how it works. That's our key here. It's not determining whether this technology is good or evil. That's your decision. But you should know how it works and what choices you have in controlling your personal information as it relates to these different tools and apps. That is our mission. To further that agenda, I once again encourage you to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell. That way you'll hear about any new videos when we upload them and we will continue to try and educate you on security, on privacy, as well as productivity and other aspects of the online life as well. I encourage you to give comments below. Let me know what you want to see more of, what you want to see less of, whether or not you're sharing your location and information on Google Maps or whether it is something that is abhorrent to you. Would love to hear your opinion. Till next time, I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming a castle.